What's good, y'all? It's the Black Horseman. Shout out to the UGC and Troop Media. That's everyone that keeps it 100, staying true to who they are, and doing their part in this media. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit that bell icon so that you'll be notified when I upload content and when I do the live streams. At the conclusion of the video, if you like the content, smash the like button and leave a comment below. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace. Yo, man, Danny Garcia, a.k.a. Swift, took the soul of Adrian Granados. A lot of us know Adrian Granados had never been stopped. And I don't think he ever been on canvas as much as he did in this fight against Danny Garcia. Danny came in tip-top shape, very sharp, defensively. Counter punching, he knocked this guy down three times. The first knock knockdown that he scored came off of a left hook. Adrian Granados was trying to exchange with Danny, and that's one of the things you don't do. Danny has excellent timing, and he just like slipped over the shots that Granados was trying to throw. And just let the, that no-look hook, you know, a lot of people like to talk about the hook landed. And um, he tried his best to keep himself from falling. But it was timber. Man fell on his ass. And, uh, you know, Adrian Granados, he has heart. You know, representing Shot town He don't want to go out like no quitter. You know, so he got up. And Danny got back to work, man. The second knockdown was one of the most brutalist knock, knockdowns you probably will see this year. I mean, they were in the middle of the ring. And Danny just landed a flush right hand. You know, I think once he got hit with the left left hook from the first knockdown, he was like, okay, I got to watch out for the left hook. And Danny just hit him with the, with the right hook. You know, Danny can punch in both hands, man. And the crazy thing about it, they were in the middle of the ring, and Danny knocked him smooth across to the uh, to the ropes. And um, man, it wasn't a good look, man. He knocked him all the way across the ring, and um, he was able to, you know, get up, man. Adrian Granados is a tough guy, man, a tough guy. You know, the third knockdown when I saw it, I thought it was a slip or something. When I first initially saw it, but when, you know, the replay, man, it was a straight right that had landed. You know, Danny just, uh, Danny does a lot of good things. Um, a lot of things good, man. I mean, I do everything great, but he does everything good, in my opinion. That's why in the fights that he's been in, he's only lost by, like, maybe a small margin. You know, he lost to Keith, he lost to Sean, but he was never really out of the fight. You know, you can, you know, some people could say it could have went either way. In each of those fights, you know, I thought Keith clearly beat him, um, you know, unanimously. But the Sean Porter fight, you know, people have their doubts. They feel like uh, he he should have edged it or a draw. But yeah, that third knockdown, you know, it was just like Danny was just uh, just a, you know adding more damage to what he had already been putting on Adrian Granados, and so um, you know dropped him tough guy, Adrian Granados gets back up again, and I think it's about the seventh round where Danny Garcia seen his opportunity, for some reason Adrian Granados backed himself into the ropes, and um, that was all Danny needed to see, man, Danny went in there and um, let them combinations start going, and good stoppage to the ref, so salute to the ref, because uh, sometimes you need to save fighters from themselves, you know. They're not going to quit. They're going to just keep fighting, keep fighting. But um, I really think Danny took the soul out of Adrian Granados in this fight, man. You know, um, Granados wasn't happy with the stoppage, but I was happy with the stoppage. Commentators was happy with the stoppage. You know, um, I'm sure Granados' family and fans was probably happy with the stoppage because you don't want to see this guy, you know, get put in a hospital or, you know, you know what I mean, end up slipping into a coma like Adonis Stevenson or something like that. It's a brutal sport, man. And Danny is not no feather puncher, you know. He's not no feather-fisted puncher. This guy has 
mean intentions every time he throws, especially them hooks, man. Them hooks, some straight rights. Uh, Danny is a, a very heavy-handed. You know, a lot of fighters have stated that Danny's heavy-handed. But um, salute to Danny, man. Even after um, savagely beating down Adrian Granados, he was still able to show sportsmanship at the end of the fight. So uh, that's always good to see, man, you know, um, because the fight is over. Um, you are, you allow, you know, um, allow your emotions to settle down. And you realize that, hey, you know, this is a brutal sport and this is something that, you know, um, you know, you guys at least get to go home, you know, with your health intact and things like that. So um, I'm glad to see that about Danny, that uh, he showed good sportsmanship. But uh, where does Danny go from here, you know? Um, I'm hearing that Josecito Lopez um, would love to get in there and face Danny Garcia. You know, so uh, if Danny can't land a fight with Keith Thurman next, you know, because Thurman is land, he's uh, focused on Manny Pacquiao. But if Keith can't get that fight with Manny, my guess is he's going to take the Danny Garcia fight. But uh, if that fight doesn't happen, I want to see Keith either face uh, Josecito Lopez or maybe try to... Um, Revisit that option, you know, to face Bud Crawford. You know, I think they both look great last night, Bud Crawford and Danny. Um, but, you know, what the best thing or the best way to uh, reignite your career and get those fans paying attention to you is getting them knockouts, you know. So Danny, um, I think he's still, he's back, man. Like he said, he's back. And um, one thing about Danny, you know, coming off the loss to Keith, and coming off the loss to Sean, you know, he's came back and um, got KOs, you know. When he lost to Keith, he came back and knocked out Brandon Rios. He lost to Sean, he came back and knocked out Adrian Granados. And his resume is legit. So, got to give Danny the credit where it's due. 